Hello everyone, I'd like to give you a brief explanation on our pulse oximeter, Acura. It's a desktop type now as you see, but it can be a bedside type if you combine the handle here. It's also portable, so good for emergency. So it's widely used in ambulance too. I'd like to show how our measured values are stable, even when the patient moves severely. I'd like to show how our measured values are stable, even in case of using ESU, electrical surgical unit. This is power button. Now you hear this sound, but it can be off if you press this button. Alarm pause duration is usually for 2 minutes, but you can change the duration as you want in setup menu. And you see this yellow part. It's a technical alarm area. It shows no sensor now, but it will be changed soon. This is a probe port, so please connect the SPO2 sensor to this connector. Now it shows finger off. Let's print the finger now. We'll use the simulator instead of a human finger. Then the sign up disappears as you see now. This part is a patient alarm area. For example, it shows a high SPO2, low SPO2, and so on like that. This part is a technical alarm area. It shows a low battery or something. This number is a perfusion index. This small number First small number is uh, SPO to high alarm limit. Below one is low alarm limit. That means you can set up and change the values. SPO to reading value, SPO to plate bar, and this small bell is SPO to alarm status. This is pulse rate reading value. This small number is a uh, Pulse rate high alarm limit, low alarm limit. This small bell is a pulse rate alarm status. This line is SPO2 waveform. This line shows the system status setting data. Battery status. Printer image if connected, but it's not connected now. Pulse sound level, screen brightness, patient type, now it's adult, current time. This area is for short trend. It shows the just the previous 30 minutes data of SPO2 and pulse rate. This, this button is alarm sound pause. This button, screen mode switching. Four screens are offered. First, second, third, fourth. You can indicate any screen as a main screen. This is alarm lamp. In case of high level alarm, red lamp blinks. Medium level alarm, yellow lamp blinks. Low level alarm, yellow lamp stays on. 
these vertical arrows are for selecting. These horizontal arrows are for decreasing or increasing. Menu button is for setup and change the modes. This small round lamp is using AC power. Below one is using battery power. Now this acura is using battery power. This is power button. You, if you button for two seconds, it turns off. Now let's learn how to use the setup menu. Press the menu button. If you see this screen appears, then you can move like this. Let's get into the configuration menu. Pulse volume from 0 to 7, like this. OK. It's, it's bigger now. It's 0, no sound. OK, let's uh, make it as big as 7. Brightness from 1 to 5. It's dark now. Yeah, it's medium. It's very bright now. Screen time. Four screens, as I mentioned before. Now is first screen is the main menu now. SPO2 average. Set a calculation time for SPO2 measurement. 2, 4, 8, 12 seconds. In case of neonate, 8 or 12 seconds are recommended. Okay, let's make it 12. Wave field. Wave display. Off or on. Press bar. Level bar. Off or on. Press menu. Let's get into the alarm. Alarm volume from 0 to 7. Let's make it biggest. Alarm duration. Set the duration when in alarm sound pause and alarm sound off. 112, 30, 60, 90. You can select whatever. Alarm zero remind. When the alarm sound is zero and the alarm occurs, set if the alarm sound beep in th th three minutes duration or not. Off or on. SPO2 alarm. Checks if the SPO2 value is out of the range of the setup range. Off on. Pulse rate alarm. Same with the SPO2. SPO2 alarm level, medium, high, low. You can select. Pulse rate alarm level, medium, high, low. Finger up level, low, medium, high. Alarm limit. Press this button. You can get into the sub menu. SPO2 high. Sets the alarm upper limit for SPO2 value. Now it's 100. Let's change it. Let's make it, for example, yeah, it's uh, 95. You can see the yellow part appears. It's a visual alarm and sound alarm together. SPO2 low. Sets the alarm lower limit for SPO2 value. You can change the numbers like this. Let's make it 70. Pulse rate high is same with SPO2. Upper limit for the pulse rate. Pulse rate low. Lower limit for pulse rate. You can change the value here. Just like this, and then press this button again.
Let's go to the patient. You can select the patient type here. Now it's adult. You can change it to pediatric or a neonate. So uh, now the current sensor is uh, adult, adult patient sensor. But in case of neonate, you can select this neonate and then exit. Yeah, many changes on screen because uh, I changed uh, some values. Let's go to yeah time. It's a current time. You can set up or change the year, month, day, hour, minute. Let's go to trend. In case of a tabular, you will see this kind of. Uh, Test data, and then if you press this button, you can approach it to the past records and the recent data. You can see some red colors. When the SPO2 limit alarm occurs, SPO2 value turns red, like this. Pulse rate limit alarm occurs, then pulse rate value turns red, like this. So you can check it out. With from this screen and then let's get on if you select one hour two hour four hour if you four hour four hours uh, it shows the waves for recent four hours and then if you select 48 hours you, you will see the waves for recent 48 hours. So you will see the change in the screen because I changed some values instead of menu, so something has been changed as you see. Okay, you can refer to more details from user's manual. Thank you very much.